Tesla's new solar inverter. Is this a solar game changer or is it a big fat nothing burger? I'm gonna be explaining all that in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And on the Solar Surge channel, we talk about all things having to do with uh, renewable energy, self-sufficiency, and household emergency preparedness. Today's video was inspired by our viewer, Premier, who writes, hey, could you do a breakdown on Tesla's new second gen inverter when you're able to? So Premier, I'd like to say welcome to the Solar Surge channel, welcome back. Thank you for watching, and today we're gonna to be doing a video on that topic that you suggested. Also, I'd like to say welcome to the 987 new subscribers for the last month. Thank you for joining us here on the channel. So the question of the day is, what do, to make of Tesla's new solar inverter? Now, up until now, Tesla had used third-party inverters, either from Delta or from SolarEdge, which is one of the market leaders here. Now, with Tesla bringing their own inverter product on the market, you might expect that they're coming with some groundbreaking innovative technology. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the, the, the technological capabilities of this inverter aren't groundbreaking at all. Uh, in fact, this basic architecture is 15 years old. Now, where the innovation comes in is driving the cost down. You see, typically if you're buying a third-party inverter, part of the cost of that inverter is taken out of your profit margin as an installation company, right? The inverter manufacturer makes a little bit of profit on each unit they sell, and Tesla wants that for themselves. So by bringing the manufacturing of the inverter in-house, it gives Tesla more control over the software and the app, but it also gives them more control over the cost structure, and that's really what Elon and Tesla are after. In order to understand this, you have to understand Tesla's overall strategy. They have two primary objectives. Number one is to have the cheapest solar available. And Elon has said that repeatedly in recent press releases. They want to have the cheapest residential solar available. So by being able to control the cost and lower the cost of the materials that go into make up the solar power system, he's going a long way to achieve that goal. The other strategic objective is to completely own the residential energy ecosystem. Okay, Elon intends to be the John D. Rockefeller of the renewable energy industry. And so he's trying to build a completely vertically integrated company where literally he owns everything from pulling the raw materials like the lithium, the cobalt, uh, silver, pulling it out of the ground at the mines, manufacturing the cells and the components, and then providing the turnkey installation and getting everything up and running on your rooftop. So he wants to own the entire ecosystem, a truly vertically integrated renewable energy business. And so by acquiring and controlling the manufacturer of its inverters, Tesla moves one step closer to achieving that goal. So if you're looking for any groundbreaking technology, you're not gonna find it here, but I will run through the technical specs with you here quickly. The Tesla inverter comes in two sizes. There's a 3.8 kilowatt model for smaller systems, and then there's a 7.6 kilowatt model for medium and larger systems. Now also keep in mind, Tesla has moved from doing custom designed solar systems to doing basically a, a small, medium, large, extra large option. So depending on where your electric bill falls in, their, their system, their software will just suggest you to buy either small, medium, or large solar system. So they're able to pair that solar kit with particular inverter sizes. The smallest solar system uses a single of the smaller inverter. The medium system size uses a single of the larger inverter, the 7.6K model. The large system uses two of the smaller inverters, and then your extra large system would use two of the 7.6K inverters. So these inverters are parallel stackable, like most grid tie inverters are. Uh, these are string inverters, I should also mention that. Um, none of the, the Tesla inverter offers any kind of panel level monitoring or optimization. So these inverters are designed to take input from multiple series connected solar panels called strings, and then you can have up to four strings feeding in to one inverter device. 
performance-wise, again, performance-wise, that's actually a detriment. Uh, we've talked about, if, in fact, if you've seen our previous video on microinverters versus power optimizers, you understand that having a, a panel level optimization boosts power output, particularly if you're in partial shading conditions. So that one panel that's shaded will not negatively impact other panels in the string. Whereas with the string inverter, that's exactly what happens. If shade compromises the performance of one of the panels, it's gonna bring the performance of all of the others that are stringed together with it, bring them all down. But the advantage of the string inverter architecture is it is a lot less expensive to install. The wiring plan on the roof is much more streamlined. The time it takes to execute the wiring in terms of labor is much less expensive. And also the complexity of, of the plans that you would be submitting to your uh, AHJ, your city or county government, when you go and apply for electrical permits, all of that paperwork is much more streamlined as well. So again, really all this plays into Tesla's strategy to be able to provide the lowest cost solar available. And let's not forget, you know, when Tesla bought SolarCity, SolarCity was a failing company when Tesla bought them out. So Elon acquired this, this business, which they had a large market share and they had scale in terms of capacity, but the model was not yet profitable. And so it's always been this plan to start stripping out costs in the supply chain wherever possible. And so th this move means they're stripping out the inverter manufacturer's margin. In terms of efficiency, the Tesla inverter offers 97% conversion efficiency from your, your DC to AC conversion. And in terms of the warranty, they offer a 12 and a half year warranty. So if you look, I mean, even the warranty term, it's not, it's not even designed to be competitive, where you have products like Enphase offering a 25 year warranty standard out of the box. But it all goes to reducing cost, and that 12 and a half year warranty is basically right at the 50% mark of the solar panel warranty, right? The solar panels generally have a 25 year power output warranty. The inverter is guaranteed for half of that lifespan. So you may have to plan for swapping that inverter out midstream. But if you're looking for a, you know, the cheapest solar option, if that's really what you're looking for, just to get the cheapest solar at any cost, then go to Tesla and you can help Elon take over the world. On the other hand, if you're looking for more of a custom design solution using premium equipment and perhaps doing battery backup as well, so you're not still dependent on the power company for your power needs, then that's something that we can help you with here. We have partners all over the country, California, Texas, Florida, uh, and almost everything in between. So if you're looking to get a custom design solar with battery backup system for your home, you know, feel free to reach out to us on the link below and we'll be happy to provide a free, no obligation uh, price quote. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that you see on the channel here, make sure you click on that like button and click on the subscribe button also if you haven't done so already. Uh, that way you won't miss any of the new videos and also YouTube will know to show this video so that more people can see it. Well, folks, thank you for turning in today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.